What's up guys, thank you for joining. Today I'm gonna show you how to highlight line charts in Power BI. This is a really, really powerful trick and I'm gonna show you how to do this step by step as always. Before we get started, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So this is the final result that I'm trying to achieve with this tutorial. So the visual on the left, this is just a regular line chart. And as you can see, if you play with the filters, so it's dynamically changing. And as you can see, the visual on the left is a little bit busy, especially if we have more categories here. So we have five for now, and it's a little bit overwhelming in my opinion. So a better way to represent this is by highlighting a specific line or a specific company for this particular example so let's say if i want to highlight amazon what happens see right there the vision on the right is giving you the information just for amazon if you want to highlight microsoft check this out it's also changing to microsoft and like I said before, you can enrich your Power BI reports and tell compelling stories with this trick. So you have to use here a few measures. I'm gonna show you how to do this step by step. Let's do this. Before we get started quickly, I wanna give Zayed Ahmed Ali a shout out. He has a really great idea here. This is a LinkedIn post. If you wanna check it out, please do it. Really, really good example here as well. So now let's go back to the example. The first thing that you want to do here is to create a few measures. Let's get started. I already have two measures here, like I said before. See right here, we have the average stock price. And I'm going to share with you this file as well so you can play around with the data. And then the other measure that I already have here is the company selection. But this doesn't matter because this is just for the slicer. But anyways, it's there. Let's create a couple of measures here real quick. Let's call this measure Amazon stock price okay so let's see how this works let's use calculate here and then we're gonna be referencing the average stock price the measure that we already created and then here let's select company for this particular case this should be Amazon okay and we're gonna do the same for the other companies okay so let's do this quickly Perfect, we just created five different measures, one for each company. Amazon is here, Apple, Google stock price, and also we have Meta and Microsoft. These measures are already there, and let's start dragging and dropping these measures into this visual. So let's do this quickly. Let's drag Amazon here. Let's drag Apple. Let's drag Google. Let's add here meta and then here microsoft and you can see this is working perfectly fine but it looks a little bit busy in my opinion you can also customize the measures if you want dollar here So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to copy this visual. Let's delete this for now. Control C, Control V. So I'm going to copy this right here. 
the next step is going to be I'm going to be playing I'm going to be changing the color of the lines here for the second visual so I'm going to show you how to do this select the visual go over here format once you're here go to lines and let's do something really interesting here so let's select here every single measure let's get started with Amazon okay for Amazon for every single measure I'm going to select this gray right here the third one and we're gonna do this for the other measures as well check this out perfect as you can see now every single company has the same color the line has the same color in order to highlight a specific company what we need to do next is to create another measure so let's create a measure right click new measure so this is going to be fun my friends please pay close attention so let's call this highlighted company okay and here we're going to use calculate calculate is really powerful here we're going to be referencing the average stock price measure and then here let's also reference company from the tech table here we're going to use this powerful function called selected value check this out and here as you might have guessed we're going to be using the company column as well check this out let's approve these changes and see what happens my friends so let's go over here and drag the measure over the visual let's see what happens nothing happens let's select a company let's say Amazon so nothing happens oh uh, well something is happening here but check this out so let's go back let's select again Amazon select the visual let's go over the lines feature here and let's select highlight a company here because we want to highlight a specific line let's make this visible and let's select red here I like red and then here we also can play with the width this is gonna be five for now I think we are good to go my friends and let's see what happens let's keep playing and let's make sure that this is working properly check this out so let's select another company here how about Apple Apple is there it's working it's working perfectly fine how about Google it's also there how about meta it's also there and as you can see the visual on the right is telling you a more compelling story because it's highlighting what is being selected another trick that I wanted to show you here is the following if you select the visual again so let's also select the format pane here another feature here really really cool is the shade area check this out let's turn this on and let's see what happens it looks great right and then you can also select another visual if you want another company you can see here really really powerful I like this a lot there you have it my friends if you found this tutorial helpful please give me a thumbs up share with your friends spread the word and of course don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss anything thank you guys for your time and see you in my next tutorial